Hey everybody, welcome back after my pretty decently long break. I took about an hour or two long break and I actually discovered a bunch of shit. Um, well not a bunch of shit, two things. Maybe three. I forget the third thing though. Um, these things are what we're gonna do instead of the boss. Because, holy fuck. Now, there, I didn't explore the main depth, so they're still new to me. I'm gonna see them, and then we're gonna go along with it. Well, one of them, I already, we're not gonna go along with, because it's already done, done, and done. But, yeah. My secondary character, I'm having a much easier time with. So, I chose the three religion, so I have two outposts, like two areas where my people are. And I chose an item, apparently, that let me take over another area's, like, religion. So now everyone in the third area that I discovered the sanctuary of is, like, pretty much worshipping my dick. Fuck me. Oh, wait, that actually worked out. Get off my dick! You son of a bitch. Yeah! Also, I gotta say, my other character is a decent large amount more powerful than this one. It's a spellcaster, but I secondarily use a scythe, and that scythe does about as much damage as my fucking weapon does here, so that thing is fucking powerful. And this is the new thing. Oh, wait, no, I already skipped one of the things I discovered. Little bit of backtracking. Not up here. Shit, what the fuck? Wee! No, get. Get. Thank you. Now this one, ah, oh, fuck me. As soon as I'm about to start talking and explaining what I'm doing, the game just like, no, shut up. Now, this one we're about to discover, this little thing. Bullshit. And all it gives me is a mage, a stone mage, and a bunch of salt. So it's not really worth it, but it's... Yeah, I got salt for that kill. All about the salt. Now, here's something I was contemplating because I kind of need to do it at this point. But first, I'm going to talk to this guy. Oh, a stranger has come to this mossy belly of a tree. No worries, I'll set you straight, you faggot. Have you ever met a wood wraith? Now, I think I have. I think it was that uh, strange woman near the tree that I got terrified of. So I'll say yes. You have. The spirits of the forest welcome wayward souls like you. Maybe you held some gods at some point. <laughs> no point, traveler. Gods are an unpleasant, unwelcome thing. Shrug them off. You may have heard that we're not trustworthy. That's a lie. Sort of. The worst of our reputation most likely comes from our love of poisons. But, my friend, poison is a wondrous thing. Poison, like the forest, seeps through the realm of man, spreading, corrupting, invading, until all is reduced to earth. Man is truly a wretched thing, 
and the forest is committed to expunging him from existence. But wood wraiths protect the forest, so the forest protects us. Interesting. You want to be a wood wraith? Want to cast off the shackles of false gods and bask in the poisonous shadows of the forest? Approach the altar. Take the oath. And that's the repeat line. Now, I'm going to take his oath. Uh... I've, this is just an idea, so... Yay, achievement. Because... What I want to do... First set up a guide, then set up a leader. Sell swords are for online play, as we've already learned. And I don't need a cleric or a mage, so for now, I'll keep those empty. But this... This girl is important. Have you spread the sting of the forest? She's important because if we... Oh, it's actually different for every person, too. If you bring her parts, like walker ears, bandit ears, feral beast tooths, and whatnot, you get pretty massive benefits. And of course, this guy will allow me to fast travel between all my different places. Which I might travel here next if I get another guide. Because I need to be able to fast travel from, like, everywhere. Uh, what did I want to do? Nope. Looks like I'm good here. And now, this is the other part that's really important. That boss we killed, the poisonous one, gave us a key for this area. Now, I didn't look this up. I was just playing with my secondary character and found all this. So suit me. What? What? Ooh, a poem and a blacksmith. Those are both actually really good things. What the fuck? Why did he light on fire? What the? Fuck that. Bad. Now, if you notice, my healing item in the top left is actually red grass now, by the way, because I joined these forest-loving motherfuckers. Uh huh. I'm gonna come this way just because there's obvious items here. Just bells of return. Goddamn. I'm just gonna do a little bit of exploring. A warhammer? Ooh, that sounds sexy as fuck. Can't use it. I require pull arm sufficiency, most likely. God, I just want to make a character for everything. And that's the Dark Souls feel. You just want to make a build. You just want to make all the builds. Hello, what do we have here? Uh, can't reach that. Oh, thank god. I was starting to think that was just going to be like a dead end. I'm going to start pressing circle on like all the walls. To just... Oh, shit! Holy fuck! Wrench feeder? I need to take care of that other one so that shit doesn't happen again. getting pretty scary when there's a lot of them. Hmm. That one looks like he has a weapon. I'm a heal. By eating a plant. No, that's not a weapon. That's most likely just a dead bot. Is this after the boss? Yes. Yes, it is. Oh my god. What? Huh. This game is sensory overload for me. I'm 
gonna keep progressing this way a little bit and then go back. Yeah, I don't like the looks of this. Especially that fucking eyeball I just saw. So I'm gonna go back because there was some more shit to explore. We're just gonna have a jolly good time, right? Yeah, alright, bravo. There's stuff up here, and there's also stuff to the left. There's stuff everywhere. This looks like a house. Just whenever you see a suspicious wall, just press circle. Or maybe attack? See, some of them are attack. Merchant. That sounds good. I'm gonna use that. This game, man. Same problem in Dark Souls 2 when they just don't know. Like, they just don't choose one or the other. Some of them are press circle, some of them are attack. And the reason I knew there was a secret wall there is because there was an item leading by a balcony where there was, like, no other way to get it. Yeah, biatch. You little dumb bitch. Shit, I was hoping that wouldn't happen. Nope. Shit, I need to get the fuck out of here before I can heal. I miss my magic. Magic is so fucking amazing in this game. I mean, I love having my shield, but magic, magic, magic. This has got to be. This, this, no, same wall. This, what's, what's the point of this? Damn. I know it. By the way, oh God, I just realized how probably stupid that made me sound, just freaking out over nothing. But that crystal sphere is the thing I use with my other character to convert a place to my religion. So now I have the power of religion. Oh, I just remembered the other thing I found while I was playing with my other character. It was another complete entire area. Like, I shit you not. Just new fucking area. Just like this. This looks like a... Oh, wait, no. I've been here. Alright, that was a nice circle. Now it loops back to over here where I wanted to check out. Ooh! Shortcut. The boss. Oh, it. Huh. <laughs> oh. Well, that's why I got bells. Of oh, thank God. Alright, so now I have a practically clear passageway right to this boss, which is really neato. See? All I needed was a little bit of exploration, even if it wasn't with this character. And all my problems are solved. Well, that's fine. I can just use a homeward boner. What were they again? They were, uh... Fuck. Oh, that's weird. I actually keep my old religious thing as well. Now, there's one item... Where is it? Oh, yeah. Bell of Return. See, I'm fucking blind. And... Merchant. Yeah! Hello there, Traveler. Ooh, poisonous painted flintlock shots, regular ones, pouches. So maybe there is a benefit to... Ooh. 